I'm Chef Yoda the dog here, and it's time for the Monday Meal. Today's Monday Meal is another one from recipes.instapot.com. My mom is really enjoying the Instapot YouTube page. Um, and we're going out in the RV this week, and we've got one on the RV as well. So, so excited. But anyway, this one is called Grandma's Pasta Salad. And we're going to put a link to the original recipe in the description box below. But my mom added chicken to it and some smoked sea salt. We discovered this on our trip to Florida. And it's so yummy. It makes everything taste like bacon. And so you're just really going to love it. You should give it a try. But anyway, she made this recipe in, but she added chicken. And she used smoked sea salt instead of regular sea salt. But you'll notice in the recipe video what she does when. So... So make sure you watch the video and see her substitutions. And, of course, it's allergy-free for her, so that's all in there. Um, but, yeah, this one was pretty good, and it was eaten right up by everyone, so there's none left. No leftovers. But just wanted to let you know this is a good one to try. And another great Instapot pasta recipe where you cook it in the Instapot, and it came out perfectly, even gluten-free. So definitely give it a try. Two thumbs up. And I got to have some of the dry pasta that fell on the floor. So that was good. I like dry pasta. And um, I think that's it. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. We would really appreciate it. Chef Yoda the dog out. All right, everybody. As Yoda said, we're making another Instapot, recipes.instapot.com recipe today. This one is called Grandma's Pasta Salad. Saw it on their YouTube shorts and got the recipe. So here's what we got in the Instapot. It is two cups of pasta, so we're using two of the packages from two different deluxe mac and cheese Daya mac and cheese boxes. It's gluten-free. So we use two of those. It's elbow macaroni, good for a pasta salad. And then a teaspoon of sea salt, and then two and a half cups of water. That's what's in here. You stir it together, then you put the lid on. Make sure it says sealing and then do manual, five minutes, that's what it's already on, and that's it, you don't do anything else, it starts. So while that's going, first we had to do a third of a cup of chopped onion, so I did my chopped frozen onion, um, three tablespoons of vinegar, so I used apple cider vinegar, and then three tablespoons of sugar. Now when you use this pure stevia blend, it's two to one, so I did one and a half tablespoons of sugar. And then you stir that together and set it aside. So that is what is in here. It is set aside for later. And then I'll show you the next step when it's time. We're gonna do a quick release on this when it's done. Okay, we did our quick release after five minutes and then we stirred up the pasta. It was done. Then I added some chicken. This is not in the recipe, but I just wanted some protein in there. So I added a can of chicken. And then the sauce is the onion mixture we made earlier mixed with three-fourths of a cup of mayo, which we used our Hellman's Vegan, and then a tablespoon of mustard, a fourth of a teaspoon of celery seed, and then salt and pepper to taste. So I'm using smoked sea salt. I found this at Walmart, and it's really good. It makes it taste like bacon. So I put that in there, and then you do two ounces of chopped cheddar cheese. We're using our Daya cheddar style shreds and then uh, a couple of chopped up uh, stalks of celery, but we're not doing the celery because um, I just don't like it. So we didn't add that in there, but I'll put a link to the original recipe below if you want that. But this is what it looks like. We're going to put it in the fridge for a couple of hours and then it will right, be done. guys, this is the finished product. In fact, this is what's left of it. We've already started serving. So, <laughs> but we did a couple hours in the fridge and it's good. So grandma's pasta salad from recipes.instapot.com. Give it a try. Happy Monday.